I like to start my days off with some ginger or green tea. Sometimes I actually mix both of them depending on how I cook the ginger. I usually just wash it, cut it up, and put it in there. You'll see towards the, well I guess towards the night, a piece of ginger just fell in there. Um, sometimes I'll leave it overnight just to really let it, you know, soak, I guess you could say. But the ginger has like a little spicy taste. I don't know, I really like it though. Um, then for breakfast today, I'm having some protein oats, of course. For my oats, I literally just boil water and threw the oats in there. Let it soak up all the water because I like my oats to be real thick, just like me. And then I'm going to add in this Oregon Organic Chocolate Protein Powder. I had to re-up on this one, so this is super fresh. I don't know why. I just love new things, no matter if it's protein powder, shoes, clothes, whatever. I just love new stuff. So with this, you have to be kind of careful because if there's not enough water left over inside your oats, you will have to add milk, which is what I added. And what I didn't realize is that adding this super cold milk was actually making my oats really cold. And I'm wondering, like, why are my oats really cold? And I just cooked them. It was because of the almond milk. So I'm actually going to start using some hot water because I don't want any cold oats. But with my protein oats, I just add in my favorite fruits. Um, so half of a banana, some blueberries, sometimes strawberries if I have them. And then add some cinnamon on top, which is super good for you. I think it's like an antioxidant or something like that. Then some almond butter. You can use peanut butter if you like, but this is just to help with the taste of the protein powder. I used to not put any like nut butter in it. And I was wondering why it tasted so disgusting, but now it tastes really good. I also put on three pieces of turkey bacon. I just put those inside the air fryer on like 400 degrees for a few minutes and everything came out really good. I don't know what it is about protein oats, but these days my mornings cannot go without my protein oats. Like I used to switch it up a little bit and do protein pancakes or um, some sausages and an omelet. Sometimes I'll have my protein oats with an omelet, but it's just like a staple in my morning routine now. It's just to have my protein oats. Plus, it's a great way to get your protein in. Super easy. So, yeah. For a little snack, I am going to have some of my leftover cowboy caviar. I will put the recipe on the screen, but this is really, really good. I'm so obsessed with this now. Like, I haven't stopped eating it since I found the recipe. Now, I am trying to limit my dairy. So, I added the feta cheese after but I just love cheese so much, so <laughs> I just kept on adding and adding and adding. Like, cheese is like, I don't know what it is, but I love me some feta cheese. I love any type of cheese, honestly, but I'm not really trying to do a lot of dairy right now. Not only does it make my stomach hurt really bad, but it's just one of those foods that make me super bloated and kind of leaves me a little bit frustrated when I'm trying to cut um so yeah i'm just adding some of that cowboy caviar to a bowl and then i use these um dipper chips from trader joe's in fact i get all my ingredients for my cowboy caviar from trader joe's that's like the only thing i get from there because trader joe's is mad expensive Don't judge me, I have a pile of socks on the couch because I don't know what to do with them. These are all the socks that are not matching. I don't want to throw them away because that's so wasteful. So I'm just trying to figure it out. But anyway, this Chloe Ting workout was super, super intense for me this day. Um, I don't know why, but I think after I ate, I felt a little bit drained. I did go ahead and finish it. So I did a Chloe Ting workout and then I did a full body by, oh, I'll put it on the screen. I don't remember, but I did not finish the full body workout. It seemed like it was getting longer and dragged out and I was getting pretty bored with it so I ended up just stopping but in total I think I worked out for about 50 minutes so that was still pretty look at those quads look at them but yeah I worked out for a full um 50 minutes and this was really good did me a little home workout this is all I did I was gonna go to the gym and do um 12 to 30 on a treadmill but I did not feel like it it seems like after I eat I'm just like uh let me just do something at home so that's exactly what i did let this be your sign that home workouts are just as effective as gym workouts especially when you're a beginner there's nothing wrong with a good home workout now if you're trying to gain weight eventually you will have to move to some you know big girl weights but 
as a beginner, you can get your, get in the living room, get in your room or whatever, and do you some home workouts. There's literally nothing wrong with that. I get people on my TikTok ask me all the time, like, what if I can't access a gym? Or like, come on, we have outside, we have our living rooms, rooms. Get to it. You can literally use household items to do certain things. Look at me, drained. So for dinner, I am having leftovers. These are some greens with some turkey bacon inside and some baked beans. I did not have the mac and cheese. As you can see, the mac and cheese is in there in the corner. So what I'm basically doing is that throughout the day, if I absolutely cannot go without any sort of dairy, then I'll choose one kind of dairy that I want to have for the day. So if it's butter, then I'll have butter. But if I have cheese that can go on my tacos, I'm not going to use the cheese. I'm going to use my vegan cheese because... That's just how I'm doing it. I find that this works best for me instead of just completely cutting dairy out of my life. Um, when I absolutely am just craving it or I just really, really need it, that's what I'll have. That's what I'll do. And then I had some mint water in the fridge just getting cold for me. And this is what I was talking about with the ginger. So I'm also ending my day with some ginger tea, which I really try to do. But it's kind of hard to stay consistent with because I don't always crave ginger tea. So it's like... I try to start and end my day with some ginger tea. I just cut it up into small pieces, put it in my tea kettle, and put it on the stove once it starts boiling. I let it sit for a minute once the thing starts whistling. I don't immediately drink it. I let it sit. I usually let it sit for like an hour or something while I have food on my stomach. But this is how my plate came out. This was actually really good. Those are two small pieces of short ribs. So yeah, really yummy. Um, I tried to put more greens on my plate than anything. That's what I'm trying to get in the habit of too. It's putting a lot more vegetables, hey okay, now, on my plate because that's what fills me up the quickest. And then you'll see the ginger tea. You see how it's still a little bit white? Like it's not really that yellow first. It's because I didn't let it sit for too long. Today I decided to add some lemon juice, which I rarely do on occasions, and a little bit of honey. Honestly, I probably did this because I had it in the morning, so I was just over the bitterness and nothing sweet. But this tasted really good. And if you enjoy what I eat in the days, so make sure you click on the next video. I will see you guys there.